years. Uh, Mike Riley has a new defensive coordinator as well, Bob Diaco. This change, though, was of his own doing. He fired Mark Banker, his longtime right-hand man. What do you make of that? You know, I think Nebraska is one of the most intriguing, especially coaching stories that, that we've seen in the Big Ten in a long time. When you hire Mike Riley, you hire a veteran head coach. You hire a guy that has forgotten more football than any of us will ever know. I mean, when you bring him to your program, here's what you count on. A solid staff, a solid offense and defensive philosophy. It's been anything but that. And, and I'm... I'm a big time Mike Riley fan. I just think it's really interesting the way this has happened. They ran an offense based on Tommy Armstrong, not based on Mike Riley's offensive philosophy. But that was the best decision that, that he thought he could make. Mark Banker, longtime defensive coordinator, and maybe more important, longtime close friend with Mike Riley, and Mike fires him. I mean, this is an extraordinary development. He brings in Bob Diaco, who I, when I go to Notre Dame practices, when he was there, I was very impressed with him. I think he is really a top-notch guy. But they're changing from a four-down to a three-down scheme. So they're not only changing personalities, they're changing schemes. So I, I just find this very interesting that Mike, who spent all that time at Oregon State and didn't have the resources that he has now at Nebraska, has made all these philosophical changes and personnel changes and it'll be interesting. He's done a lot of really good things in recruiting. But the only explanation I have, Rever, for this not being true to form, meaning veteran coach keeps the staff, veteran coach, offense and defensive schemes the same, is that he has much more resources at Nebraska. And he can hire different people if he wants. He can change schemes and he can recruit to those schemes quicker than if he was at a place like Oregon State. Well, if your resources are defined, and I know they are, in part by money, I mean, this would back it up, right? I mean, they're paying Diaco $1.7 million Absolutely. over two years, right. which is the most that they have ever paid an assistant coach by a significant margin. And behind the scenes, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, behind the scenes, they've increased their recruiting budget. You know, more people, more money, because there's no rules that govern how many people you can have in the recruiting office. What the rules govern is what they can do. And Bo wanted more people, and, you know, he left, obviously, before they gave them to him. But Mike spent a lot of money in recruiting, which they have to. They have to spend more money in Nebraska than the other places because of the lack of talent in the state of Nebraska. Right, the logistics of getting out to see the players, getting the players right. in to see you, all of those things add up.